I'll read you a section. Hello everybody. Today I welcome you. It is part three of how to make tear out for beginners, and we are going to get down. I want to show you an easy way to make a sub and a bass and just everything you know that you need to know so that you can get started making something fat and heavy. I want to give you my heaviest sub and my heaviest bass. It's gonna sound clean, nice, and you guys are gonna sound fresh. So look at this blank project. This is where we start. First thing you want to do is you want to open up a serum and we want to start making the sub. In the serum, go to analog, basic shapes. Let's get a sub, but we're going to invert the sub. So hit the pencil icon, hit process, and you're going to flip vertical, invert. Now we have an upside down sine wave. Turn the level all the way up, and then we're going to start making the LFO shapes. Two different LFOs. First LFO, turn on envelope. We're going to move it like this, give it a little curve. Then we're going to add another point with this space. And then we're going to basically bring on up this. It looks like this. Bring it on up. And you could put it right here. That's the first LFO. It's on a quarter note. Second LFO is what we're going to do next. Now this LFO is going to be for the master tuning. And this is going to add pitch at the beginning of the sub. So it kind of has like a kick quality. It has like a thump as soon as it actually starts playing. That's what we're making now. You want to make this shape. Lots of curves. Go all curvy. We're going to leave it on envelope and we're going to put it on 1 8 rate. We're setting up our sub. These LFOs, we want to map them. So to map them, we go to the matrix and then we set up LFO 1. We're going to map this to the amp. LFO 2. So the amp is volume, the amplitude, just so you know. LFO 1, this controls the volume. We're going to turn it all the way up. And we're going to put it on this way. LFO 2 is going to control the master tune. We're going to move this up to 29. This is how much of the kick effect that we add to the beginning, how much transient we add. Put it right side. Now we can play this. We've got a nice sub, sub bass. So now both of these LFOs are now working. Listen to this turned off, turned on. So that pitch at the beginning does a lot, and then the bass just holds off. Nice. So that's what we want to start with is the sub. The sub is very important because those are the low frequencies. This is bass music, so we need to make sure that our bass is loud, fat, and controlled. What we're going to do now is add post-processing to this so that we can actually make it fat. First thing you wanna to add to the sub is a saturator, and you can turn it all the way up. Just boost it and clip it, hit soft clip on. And now we're getting super loud, but we're going to turn it down eventually. But before we turn it down, we wanna add erosion. What erosion does is it adds high frequencies to the song, and it sounds like this. So this is a sine wave. That's noise, noise. So we're gonna add basically different frequencies using erosion. So here's the first one, we're gonna duplicate it. We're going to make another one, sine wave, put it in the middle. If you see here the frequencies, the frequencies right here, if you wanted to, you could tune it to a note. You could look at this, these frequency charts and tune your frequency if you wanted to. Otherwise, you could just pick a tone that you like. Add another erosion. This time we're going to add wide noise. We're going to make this pretty wide like this. This is going to add that white noise. 
the high frequencies. And that's what we want. Next, we're going to get an EQ. And we basically want to EQ out the middle. So like this. And then you can even make more like this. Flatten it out. And really make the lows and the highs come through. You can even duplicate this, clean it up even more. Now we're cleaning the actual sound. Turn this back on. Now we can get an EQ, another one, and start carving out more frequencies. We can do a slight boost, and we can start turning down these frequencies. It is a sub bass, so you really want just the subs to come through with a little bit of high frequencies. Now we add multiband dynamics. This is a custom preset I set up. If you copy these settings, you'll get it. This will be free in the description. This is the Drip TT. So set extra volume and bring out the lows, mids, and highs even more. Now you have a sub. The sub, you can group it. Basically, you'll hit Command A to select them all, and hit Command G to group it. This little button at the bottom left, you'll hit to save, and then you'll save this as the dripment sub. 44 or 44 44 save it and then now it'll be in your user library underneath these instrument racks and anytime you look up dripment sub 44 it'll be right there so you can bring it to any song that you need at any time so now we have our sub set up but what we want to do is we want to make a bass that plays at the same time that this sub plays so we're going to rename this sub command r sub name this bass so basically when i have this selected i can press a note on the keyboard and it plays it's off doesn't play usually you can have both of these selected and play both of them but we're going to do a trick so that we make it easier for ourselves so that we only have to write one midi clip instead of two midi clips so now in this bass we're going to go here and select the sub and we're going to hit in. So that means every time we hit a note on sub, it will also work on this because we're bringing in the sub MIDI information, bringing it in, and then it becomes blue. So now that means every time I hit this, this activates. So now all we have to do is load up sound, and both of them will play at the same time without me having to hit this on the other one. So now load up a sampler, and we're going to start making the bass. The simpler is going to be really helpful, but we have to make sure that the settings are set up correctly. What you want to do is you want to find a sound. I look up one shot, and we're really looking for like, we want bass sounds, so like something like that. Now, if you look, these are labeled F minor, F minor. Now when I make my song, I'm going to be in D minor, which is this scale. So if I pick F, I need to make sure that we change this to D. Or we can find one that's already D. Like this. So just looking through something that I like, I want to find something that sounds cool to me. A lot of these aren't not labeled with the key, so to make it easier for you, just find one that has a labeled key. We want a D, but these are like F, D, sharp, E. It 
this is one that could work. So you throw it in, and it's plain when we hit it, but we have to set it up. So what we're going to do is make a small section with these plays. We're going to turn down the sustain, so that means every time we hit it, it's only, only going to play a very short sound. So turn down the sustain, and you see it becomes a very short blippy sound instead of this. And we also want to turn down the release and the decay. And we want to start shaping a very small blippy sound. This is usually turned down, so turn it to zero volume. And then we start with the actual bass making. So now, basically, we could drag in any sample to change it. But first, we need to add post-processing to make this tiny little sound sound actually cool. First thing I like to do is add a corpus, and this will be putting it in a different space. You can tune it right here. So I'm going to tune it to D0, which is our note. Make sure you have these settings. Decay, radius, width. Look at the tune. Dry and wet. It's on tube. This is going to add extra effects, but what we need to do is we need to add a disperser. So this is a disperser that's made in Ableton. You can use the regular dispersers like these if you want to as well. But if you just have Ableton, you can use this one, which will be available as well. Actually, this whole uh, new bass and sub that I make, as well as the disperser rack, will be in my Patreon, so you guys can get that if you need. So first, we add this disperser, and it's going to change the sound significantly. Before, after. We can use these to change the way it's dispersing. And you basically want to find a tone that you like, whatever sounds cool to you. So I like this, so we'll move forward with that. After the disperser, we want to try to bring out some frequencies. And what I mean is we're going to get an EQ, and we're literally going to pull up frequencies. And you're going to find whatever ones that you like. I want to do this throughout the spectrum. Make sure that they're not shells. Make sure they're on these. You can use the Q as well to make them thin. You see it changes. I'll just pick something I like. I like that. So cool. That's cool. Bringing out a lot of frequencies. Making it loud. After we do that, we want to get that saturator and do the same thing. We want to pump it all the way up. And we want to clip it. Now it's extremely loud. And obnoxious. So what we do is we're going to add a reverb. This is a hybrid reverb, and the settings are this. Convolution IR, made for drums, large gated snare. Look at the decay and the size. Look at the convo. And stereo is at 90%, with dry and wet at 45%. Bass is in mono. This is going to add reverb to the sound. And then what we're going to do is just turn it down for now. Nice. Instead of me turning it down right here, I actually recommend just using a utility and turning it down from there. Cool. So then now we have the reverb before, after. So you see that makes a huge difference. But then we're going to basically bring out all the frequencies with that drip TT. We can move it to like 50, 60. You can choose which one sounds best to you. And then we need to start carving out the rest of the frequencies. So we're going to cut the lows because remember we have a separate sub. And then we want to do a little boost, a little cut, a little boost. Just to clean it up and let it sit well. You can take a little. 
don't want to leave too much of this base, you find a perfect spot around 100 to 80, even 60, 74. So I like the way that sounds. And as you see, we'll put the utility at the end. And you see it's not too loud. And everything is now working as it should. Well, this is cool. So now after you have this set up, then all you have to do is write MIDI in the sub, and it'll write it for both of the sounds. So you highlight a section, right click, insert a MIDI clip, and then we're going to go to D0. So this is D3. If you hold shift, go down two times, one more time to D0. This is the low octave, and this is where we want to stay. I'm in D minor, so that means I could play the D note or even C, which is in my scale. And those are the ones I'm going to stick to, either D or C. So now we can just make notes. So for example, we could do long ones like this. We can make them go faster. We can go even faster. And then you can start cutting them like this. So if you highlight them all and move them, you can cut. If you hold command while you move, then you will, it won't stick to the grid and you can actually move however you want. So we're going to cut the ends of these notes. I'm holding command, I'm moving to the left. That's cool. You can mess with triplets, so you can move it in a different rhythm. And then you can start making something that sounds cool. So I like the way that sounds. So I can just duplicate it. And then in this section, we can make it even go faster. So like you could do little fast ones like this. And like kind of extend it out. So we go like maybe do 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 do. Extend this, duplicate these. If you see what I'm highlighting, I'm making sure that I'm highlighting in the right section and duplicate. Having a little space before the next note is always a nice thing to do. It makes things sound a little bit cleaner. So as you see, we're only writing the MIDI for the sub, but it's playing the bass. If you turn this off, the bass stops playing. So when you go throughout your song, it becomes a much easier process to just write down the ideas, and it's already heavy and fat. But the best thing about this now is that we can actually go to the bass and start dragging in different sounds. We look up one shot, we can go down, find something cool. So let's say we like this. We'll throw it in, but it's an F. So what we need to do is go to Controls, Transpose It. If we're in F, that means we have to transpose it down. One, two, three, to go to D. So that's what we do. Transpose down. One, two, three. We're at D now. So now when this plays, it's in key and how it's supposed to be. Now it's a new sound. And we can move this. And all of a sudden you have new bases, unlimited bases basically. You could even go down an octave, negative 12, and then go down three again, one, two, three. So now we're down an octave at D. You can try out different pitches. Don't forget this warp mode. If you're in complex, it warps better when you're pitched. Yes. And then, of course, you could just play around with all kinds of new rhythms. And just have fun, you know? This is, this is where your imagination can just run wild, and you can have as much fun as possible. And all you have to do now is get an audio track, get two of them. Get a kick, get yourself a snare, layer your snare, 
group the snares, Com command G to group, turn them down a little. Layer the kick with the snare. Duplicate these kicks. And now you start having your drum loop. Duplicate this. And then you start writing. So start duplicating however you like, start writing different notes. Then duplicate more, and all of a sudden you have a song. Make sure that you use your side chain. The kick needs to be separate from all these. So technically, you could just get a compressor, ratio all the way up, attack all the way down, side chain choose the kick and turn the threshold down so when the kick plays everything else lowers in volume uh. Woo. Uh. that's how we do it uh. i hope you like this this is how we do it from the begins make some subs make some bases get everything we just did in my patreon or make it yourself rewind this video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a great day guys peace out well slap my ass and call me <laughs>